Hey guys, Travis with Gorsuch Performance. Uh, good to see you all again. Uh, one of the questions that we get uh, quite frequently is what makes a rotor directional or non-directional? And uh, we wanted to address that today. So I've got two examples here and this would be a curved vane directional rotor. You can see on the inside, the, the internal pillars and veins are what will make a rotor directional or not. Um, this is a curved vein, and so this would be a left rear, and this one should be flowing. The air always comes in from the inside and flows up, and due to centrifugal forces will be slung out. And so the air flows up and out through there, so this is the direction that you would want this rotor spinning when it's racing. And the slot pattern here, you can see this is called a bi-slot. And that is, uh, sometimes people say that the slot pattern will make it directional or not. Um, this one is designed to go either way. But truly, the direction and, and taper of the veins inside is what's going to make it directional or not. So here is what we would consider a non-directional rotor. It has a straight slot which sometimes that uh, there is an advantage to run the slots one way or another, but you can run them uh, it, truthfully. It's, it's non-directional for racing applications. If you look at the inside here, it's a little harder to see, but this has many little posts that uh, we would call this a pillar style rotor. And those posts basically are allowing the air to flow up and the air will kind of bounce between those and flow up and out through the rotor. It's a very tough and durable rotor. This is about an eight pound rotor versus our standard six pound late model rotor. This will take a little more heat and abuse and it can be run either side of the car. Like I said, it's non-directional. If you have the option to run a slotted rotor, a lot of times if you put the the brake pad on the rotor and as the rotor rotates the direction, you want the slot to pull the, the brake pad down into the caliper and that will eliminate a little bit of vibration. So if you have a performance car and you're, you're doing a track day but you're gonna drive it on the street, you would probably wanna have it as a, a directional based upon the slot, um, the slot direction. But for most of our racing applications, we don't really care if it has a little bit of a squeak or a, a little bit of noise. Um, so we can run this on a left or a right and uh, hopefully that answers the questions on the difference between a uh, uh, directional versus non-directional rotor. If you have additional questions, uh, reach us at GorsuchPerformanceSolutions.com or give us a call at 951-310-0561. Thank you.